Hello everyone, my name is Gita and welcome to your pick a card reading. So the title of this video is going to be, what do they wish they could say to you? So I did something a little bit different here. I got you some rough stones and I thought you could enjoy them. If you saw my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, you would see that I went to a, a drum circle that was happening. It was actually a big turnout this time at the local beach nearby and they had someone had these cool stones and I thought I would go ahead and take advantage and get them for you. So let me know if you like this sometimes, you know, you might like a variety, you know, you could say, hey, I like a variety or yeah, I like that you change it up a bit, you know, or you like a certain thing more than others. So let me know how this goes for you with your pendulums or however you picked your cards. Um, I do, I think for now I do kind of like this stone just because when I'm using the decks, I have to put them this way and, and I can't, there's not really enough room this way to do it, to put three decks or three piles. And actually in this way, if I decided to go and use more than three, I can use more than three. So I kind of like that option too, until I move and I can have a bigger table for you guys and I can have a better camera angle, which I am very much looking forward to, but anything to help you guys be able to pick your cards better. So anyways, this is going to be one with, this is going to be number one, deck one, number deck, deck two and deck three. And this one is called Lazulite. This one's called Rose Quartz and this one's um, Banded Obsidian. So you could take a moment and meditate on which one that you would like to do. And while you're doing that, I would just like to say that if you like this kind of video, please give my video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. If you would like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to have a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with Lazulite and because one, two, and three, just reminding you guys, one, two, and three, I'm going to go ahead and get started with Lazulite, and I'm going to pause the video while I'm doing that, and I'm going to draw your cards, and then we're going to come back. All right, so here I have the cards for stone number one, and please excuse me, I'm actually feeling a little bit flustered or something, so if I, like, kind of, I don't know, I'm feeling a little bit shaky, I ate and stuff, so I'm, like, getting a lot of energy or something, weird energy from, the, from this reading so far. So I don't know what's going on, but let's go ahead and start reading the cards. Other than that, I feel fine. I just feel like a little bit shaky and like a lot of energy. Oof. So we have the um, Knight of Pentacles. I think the problem is that it's a little bit distracting when I feel like this. So that's why I'm telling you. And I have the Magician in Reverse. I have the Two of Cups. I have the Eight of Cups. I have the King of Cups. I have the Moon. I have the Nine of Pentacles. And I have the Hermit. So what does this person wish they could say? <sighs> I, I want to say that they're, well, we have the king of cups here. So your person could be a water sign. Um, I have like weird, what is that? Lights flashing. I don't know. Things are acting weird. Um, I feel like this person, this person wants to say that they're, they could be a water sign. They are, they could be a water sign, but this person, I feel like they would, they want to say like they're way more emotionally like calm now than they were before. Maybe they were way more upset about something. Maybe it was a situation that had happened in the past, but there, that there was like some bad feelings over or something. But this person is feeling way more emotionally balanced and calm about the situation now. And they actually might be able to come forward and communicate with you. Or they might be thinking about it, actually. Or they have tried. I do feel like that they are thinking about it, more likely to think about it, because the magician is in the reverse. So I feel like they have not manifested this situation. 
or they are trying and failing. I do feel like these things, this person has not managed to communicate this because it is um, still hidden. It is still hidden. The, the, what is the truth about the situation? This person, maybe, I feel like that what they want to say of what they're trying to say and manifest is that they do love you and they wish they would or could come together with you. They are feeling more independent and self-sufficient now these days. And, but they are trying to move away from this emotionally, but they still haven't totally been able to let it go. And they have mostly been keeping to themselves, I think, and really trying to reflect on what's going on. I feel like this person is trying to better themselves, become a better person as a result of the situation. Anyways, that is what I really feel like they want to say to you. But again, I see they're actually literally not being able to manifest it. And I feel like maybe they're at a loss for words or something. They're having a difficulty coming up with the words to say those types of things. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number one with the lazulite. And now I'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number two, the pink rose quartz. All right, so here we have the rose quartz and let's find out what they wish they could say to you. And this would be stone number two. All right, so here we are with stone number two's cards and let's find out what your per what your person wishes they could say to you. So we have the sun. Okay, move this over just a little bit more. We have the Emperor in reverse. We have the Moon. And we have the Two of Swords. We have the King of Wands in reverse. We have the Two of Wands in reverse. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Five of Pentacles in upright. So I'm seeing this <clears throat> could be a person who is a fire sign. You or them could be. I think it might be you. I think you're the one who might be a fire sign and there could be a Gemini involved but it doesn't have to be of course I also see some earth going on here anyway so with this with this king of wands because I'm really feeling like they're trying to say this is about you is they really would like to say that they're very upset with you. I feel like they're angry at you and that you have, they feel like that you have a really hard time being authentic, that you're not a very authentic person. I'm not saying if this is true or not. This is just what they, they're thinking about you. Okay. That it seems like you do it, that they, they feel like that you don't have it. You have a hard time knowing what you truly want or even the kind of person that you want to even be. And that you're always doing things that don't really align with who they think is your autist, your authentic self, or maybe who you present your authentic self to be. They feel, they want to say to you, they wish they could say that they feel like that you're fake, that you're a fake person. And that you come across as like someone who's really charming, but you don't follow up with your promises. For some of you, you may, what they're 
they want to say to you is you may even use authenticity as an excuse to do whatever you want. Pretty much saying, I am who I am, and if you don't like it, I don't give a damn. Try and see if there's anything else I could pick up here. And what they're really trying to say about these things is that this has actually come, like things have just become way more clear for them with the sun card. They also would like to tell you that they feel like that you're very controlling and egotistical. And that you abuse your power that you have over others. Again, I'm not saying this is a true thing. This is what they're thinking, okay? This is what they think about you. I mean, how many times everybody gets thought of things that aren't actually true about them. Doesn't mean this is true about you. This is what they think about you. This is what they wish they could tell you. And also that you have a hard time saying no to avoid taking on other people's problems. And that you push your problems on other people. This one's a little bit long. They feel like the situation with you had become hopeless. They couldn't, they, there wasn't, they didn't really feel like they had many options with you. And they just couldn't get anything started with you. They were not prepared for the kind of person that you were. Also, they're, it, it's saying that you may have tried to make them make a decision before they were ready to make that decision. And they really felt stuck because you were kind of limit. They feel like that you were limiting your options, their options, not, uh, not your options, their options. Again, this is about, this card is also, um, using your power in abusive or hurtful ways. Maybe using your feelings, maybe, um, saying, you know, if you do this, I'll have sex with you or something. Not saying that's what you actually did, just say that's an example of it, you know, kind of using someone's emotions in order to manipulate a situation to get things that you want. They do actually dream about you. I feel like they dream about you and I, and I actually, part of what they feel like they dream is they dream about telling you these things. There is a sense of intuition. I always feel like there actually might be you in communicating this situation, this information with you um, intuitively. Hmm. I also want to say um, how to word this. I hope if I touch the card better or something. That you have like a disconnect between your sense of self-worth self and your material security. Like you might feel like you deserve more luxury but don't have the finances to support it. There could be an issue with money here. Maybe that you spend or you had, you wanted them to spend more money on you. 
than is reasonable in order to boost their, your self-esteem. And that you wanted to be taken care of, but it was too much. That you act like you wanted independence, but you wanted to be taken care of, if that makes sense. Also, I'm feeling like mm, we do have this five of pentacles and that is meaning for like being left out into the cold. Maybe the spending had left them in a, I feel like the, so they're, this money that they spent on you, um, they spent too much money on you, I want to say, and, um, if this is not you, if this isn't resonating, then, um, and then I guess you're in the wrong pile. Just letting you know, I'm saying all these things. This, this message is for somebody. If it's not resonating for you, please don't get mad because you're just in the wrong pile. Uh, this is, um, this is definitely a message that someone needs to hear. So I don't want to hear anybody complaining about this. Okay. So we do have this five of pentacles and so what they're saying, what they wish they could say to you is that they spent so much money on you. It really left them hurting financially. And they feel like they had to make a choice about, they had to make a choice on whether to like leave you or to stay with you. And they kind of put it off for a long time. Maybe they're still putting it off. Yeah, I'm feeling like some of them are feeling it, putting it off. I feel like, yeah, I think, I feel like that some of you might actually still be around this person. But I feel like they do, they need, they feel like they need to withdraw in order to understand and like think about their options. So if you haven't lost this person yet, you're on the verge of, unless you do something to change it. However, I think some very unhappy words are going to be said towards you, to you. If they haven't happened yet, they're going to. But they're having to choose like the, it's coming down to where this, cause financially and they're, and emotionally, they're just feeling so messed up that they're actually not, they're not able to continue like this. So they don't have much choice. I feel like they do care about you. Otherwise they wouldn't be doing everything that they do, that they do. But I don't know. There's a lot of, anyways, there's a lot of very egotistical type of things going on. There's very ego driven energy going on here and if this is you then it's something that maybe you could think about maybe they really are justified in feeling this way you will know i feel like there's going to be some of you who they are justified in feeling this way and you're going to deny it you're going to deny it to yourself because that's what a lot of people do when they feel like that and if this pile isn't for you i'm sure and you can understand how people do that you know, if you happen to stumble across this or some of you actually just watch all of them, you know, and if you know that you hear, you're watching this reading and you know, this isn't for you and it doesn't resonate for you, but you're just watching it, trying to maybe learn about tarot or anything like that. I'm sure, you know, how people, I mean, you could say in the comments below, you know, how people, even when they do a bunch of messed up things, they will lie to themselves, you know, but hopefully that won't happen here. And this actually can help someone maybe even save a relationship. Anyways, that's all I have for stone number two with the rose quartz. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. I doubt you will. If you liked, if you want to be notified for, if, if you want to be notified of future readings, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you would like to be, um, have a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. 
All right, well, thank you very much. And now I'm going to go ahead and move on to stone number three, the obsidian. All right, so here we are with stone number three with the obsidian. And let's find out what they wish they could say to you. All right, so here's the cards for stone number three, the obsidian. And let's find out what your person wishes they could say to you. So we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Hermit. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles in reverse. And we have the Chariot. All right, so what do they want to say? I really want to say that what they want to say is that that you made them happy and it took them some time on their own to realize that but you really made them happy but they feel like they were fighting the wrong thing they were fighting the wrong battle they really had a hard time like uh standing up for what they believed in Maybe they would back down too quickly when faced with resistance, like with some kind of issue or even like giving up before trying to defend the beliefs. It's just like, uh, they just kind of were too passive. I feel like they wish they could say that they could do that. Part of the issue is having the reason why they did that is stemming back to their issues with their family. Maybe with how they were raised. I mean, like some kind of like it's like a tradition or a belief or an ideology or something was being imposed on them so I guess it's like due to tradition uh, like they feel like they like they're I feel like that Whatever has happened between the both of you that has caused you this, like, a rift, um, I feel like that it, it has to do with maybe their culture or maybe something that they believed in and that was imposed by their family or learned from their family. And in this situation, like, I don't know, like, for example, not meaning that this is actually what's happening, but it could be something like, um... Maybe the person, someone is maybe Muslim or something, and they're not allowed to be with someone in a different, like they wouldn't be allowed to be with a Christian or a Jew person. Just not saying this is actually it. I mean, it's not impossible. It could actually be part of your issue, but, but just saying that as an example of what it could actually be. I'm really feeling like they miss you a lot they miss you a lot and they just couldn't handle it they couldn't handle the situation they were very like this person was like really overwhelmed they haven't been actually very productive since this issue has come up they have not been able to just <sighs> They're just very weighed down with emotion. 
getting, they're having difficult doing things in life. Ever since they miss you, I feel like that they, they really miss you. But I feel like the issue has to do with something with their family and their upbringing. But they also would like to say that they're ready. They want they want to be ready. I mean, they're having a hard time getting started, but they want to get they want to be ready. They want to start taking control of their life and have a goal with you and I feel like they want to change things. I feel like they want to change what this is. So maybe if you block them, maybe unblock them from communication. I don't see anything communicating, but I see them wanting to change. So it could come. Anyway, that's all I have for stone number three with the obsidian. Please let me know if you like this kind of reading. Please let me know how this resonates in the comments below. I'd really appreciate it. If you like this kind of reading, please give my video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. If you'd like to be notified of future videos, please subscribe and hit the bell notification. And if you'd like to have a more private reading, you can see how to do that in the description below. All right. Well, thank you very much. And I hope you all have a wonderful day or night. God bless.